La Liga. It's one of the world's most premier football competitions. So many iconic teams. From Real Madrid's Galacticos, Pep Guardiola's Barcelona, and of course, Gary Neville's Valencia. Please join us on our first kit rating journey into mainland Europe. Join myself and my good friend Dave, aka Lover of Drams, as we rate and rank all 41 La Liga 1 and 2 home kits for 2023-24. Apologies in advance for the pronunciations. Right, it must be that time now, so let's get some more home kit ratings done. So, for La Liga, bottom of the pile this week in the relegation zone is Amore Bieta, I think that's how you pronounce it. Apologies if it's not. Uh, looking at the top, you can see why it's in relegation zone. It's just absolute plain boring, to be honest with you. That's really all I've got to say in this one. Just plain boring. Second from bottom, we have Girona. Uh, it's, it's not bad, this top, but what puts me off it is that stripe going down the middle. It seems to be a different size to the other ones. It kind of knocks it off balance for me, I think. Uh, so, kind of middle of the road, this one for me. Next up, we have Oviedo. I would think that's again how you might pronounce it. Again, I apologise if not. This is another top I'm not a huge fan of. And looking at this website here it says this is the new locker room template from Adidas. If this is the new one, then I can what the old one must have been like. This is just another plain boring one. And hovering above the relegation zone we have the mighty Atletico Madrid. Not a position they're usually in. This is a team whose style never really changes, either on or off the pitch, I might add. Uh, I would like to see a bit more pizzazz with, the, with their tops, uh, just the same one year in year out. And now we have Real Club Deportivo Mallorca. Now admittedly I think my initial rating of a 4 might have been a bit too savage for this one. But to be fair though it's still quite a boring template, I probably should have given it a 5 I think. Uh, I kind of expected better from like this one. Again. It's just boring, sponsored too high up as well. Uh, so yeah, not the greatest for me. Now we move on to Osasuna. Uh, I do like the kind of the colours of it, like that dark red with the navy goes pretty well with each other. But as usual for a lot of the stops, the sponsor is just sitting too high up for me. Uh, and there's not much of a design to it at all. So yeah, middle of the road is this one for me. And now we have Racing Club de Ferro. Uh, now Lotto, I can't say that, I can't remember last time I seen a kit made by Lotto. So good to bring back a bit of nostalgia for all the classic old school Italian tops I remember. Uh, the top itself, it's very plain, uh, no, no real imagination to it. I think that's why I went with a score of four for this one. Could have been better, but certainly not. Certainly far from the worst anyway. Now we come to the kings of the Europa League in recent years. It is Sevilla. Uh, this top, I actually quite like this top. It does look a bit plain, however, I do like a bit of a kind of that pattern going through it. Uh, it looks kind of retro as well. So I mean, for the seven, I think Matty must have been a bad mid tonight. He gave this one a four. I th I, th I, th I expected better from Matt for this one to be honest. Yeah, I quite liked it. Next up we have Athletic Bilbao. Another team whose home kit style doesn't really change all that often. Uh, I think one different, only real difference with this kit from previous years is that the, the red stripes seem to be a bit thicker than normal. Uh, but in general, I, I, I didn't mind this top too much. It's not a bad effort from Castor, however, as you'll probably get fed up with me saying about with all these tops is this sponsor is just far too high up on these tops. It must be a recent thing uh, in this day and age of new football kits, having sponsors so high up. Uh, but apart from that though, I quite like the top. 
Yeah, I'll give it a 7. And now we come to Celta Vigo. Uh, I believe this top is celebrating the club centenary. So I think this is why Adidas have went down for a bit of a, a toned down shot. I don't mind the top. It does look a bit plain though, but I guess if I want to celebrate a centenary, they want to go a bit more old school, don't they? So I'll cut a bit of slack just for that. Uh, the colour, I quite like the colour of the top actually. Sponsors at a reasonable height. Uh, but because of the plainness, just a little bit middle of the road for me for this one. And to finish up my first round of my dulcet tones, and third is first, we have Rassen Santon there. Now, I went on a bit of a journey with this top. When I first seen it, I didn't really like it all that much. But then I noticed the collar, and you all know I love a collar on a football top. Then I saw the design down on the bottom of the top, which I believe from looking at the top it could potentially be the stadium, which I think adds a really nice touch. So those aspects uh, pushed the, push the score up for me a little bit, because I ended up actually quite liking it. So yeah, a bit of a journey with this one. I give this one a 7. I think Matt was maybe a bit too savage with this one. I expected a better score from Matt for this one. Quite disappointed with him. Horrendously uneducated of me, but I was surprised to find out Zaragoza's home kit was white. I automatically assumed by the colour of the badge that it would match. But here we are. So anyway, the standard Adidas template, which sort of comes with the deal when you sign with the giants of the kit manufacturing world. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. Was convinced at first they were sponsored by caravans, by the way. Like, how do we look? I've said it before and I'll say it again. I love Hummel. When it comes to the upper mid card of kit manufacturers, they are top of that weight class as far as I'm concerned. There isn't an obvious standard template besides the chevrons when it comes to Hummel. I mean, it looks like the clubs have actually had time taken on them, which is a nice touch. In turn, it makes me want to actually part with my money for it. I do prefer the away kit, but a good effort for the Islanders. A few disappointing efforts from Puma this season. Uh, Europe-wide in my opinion, not just in La Liga. A tad better than Hirona, but not far off it to be honest. I just feel charging fans for a kit that is so cookie cutter and unimaginative is wrong to be honest. I know it's a capitalist word and that sort of comes with the territory, but I mean some people love the simplicity, but for me it's boring. Ah yes, again we have the dreaded Adidas template. I am 99% sure this is just an old Legia Warsaw kit with a Burgos badge ironed on top of it. If I was a fan of the club, I'd be keeping my wallet in my pocket for, for sure. I fucking love Kappa. There is a level of sexiness that only comes from wearing a Kappa kit. Alcorcon, apologies again for the pronunciations, you're going to hear that a lot this episode. So they're a Madrid based team, they knew the assignment with this one. The whole thing is smoothly laid out, the sponsor blends in seamlessly, there is nothing garish about it whatsoever. Surprised Dave gave this one a 4. I think he must have some Catalan bias. So maybe Dave doesn't have some Catalan bias after all. I mean, giving these Barcelona giants a 6, just like myself. I like it, I mean, I think Kelm, Kelme can do better and have done better before. Just look at some of the old Watford kits. It's a pretty safe choice, I'm sure your older members of the capo will like it for sure. You know the old saying that enemy of my enemy is my friend? Well I get those vibes with Macron. They typically go against generic vibes of like the bigger brands, but at the same time they struggle to actually put imagination on a paper. I mean, to be honest, I could be talking shit because Macron have finished top of two of our previous rankings, so they must be doing something right. Okay, I'll say it because the colours are similar, but this is a lot better than Barcelona's kit this season. 
I mean, please don't hurt me, FCB fans, but it's the truth and you know it. Hummel Chevrons advertise himself without being an eyesore. The sponsor, you can throw that in there too. The Azul Granas, again, pronunciation, sorry. I would be happy with that if I was a fan of your club. Ah, Castor strikes again. I mean, probably at this point, I'm just bullying the British kit manufacturer, but I find the majority of their efforts lazy. It may have not been a choice of the club, but I would have changed the kit sponsor to black. Stand out a bit better, because I mean, from a distance, it just looks like a bit of a car crash in the middle there. There's not enough drum kits in the world, that is for sure. So we've got another Madrid-based club with the darker T on the kit. It has a cool pattern within it. You may not be able to tell from the slide here, but I would definitely give it a Google and see what you think yourself. Slightly too subtle though. It's unique enough to be a high scorer, but I feel like a nine would definitely have been in reach if they just made the T white with the pattern within it blue. Then for sure it would have been a contender. So, moving into the top 20 now, and in 20th place, we have Uh Now, it does look like quite a plain top, but for some reason, I actually quite like this top. I think the yellow and... I think it could be black or it could be navy through the top. I, it makes it look really nice, it stands out quite nice like that. Uh, I would have scored a higher, again, if it wasn't for the sponsor being a little bit too high. But not a bad effort from Villarreal this uh, this season and next up we have Las Palmas uh, at first glance this top did put my mind of like an older Ukraine top uh, however I did actually quite like the top uh, I have it does bring back quite fond memories as well of a lad's holiday to Gran Canaria so I think that maybe played a part in my scoring there as well uh, but no it is Generally, just a nice kind of top to fair. I didn't mind it. And I do also quite like that design, just the inside of the neck as well. It has a little bit of a different unique touch to it, I think. And now we have uh, Granada. So at first glance, this made me think of good old Hamatanakis here in Scotland. Which, usually the mention of them gives me the book. However, this is actually quite a nice top to fair. It looks quite... It looks very retro. Uh, I like the design of it. Uh, yeah, I was a fan of the stop, so well done, Granada. And now we are moving on to Alaves. Uh, again, another top which I didn't mind too much, to be honest with you. I think if the blue stripes on the top were just a little bit thinner, I probably would have scored this one higher. It could have been an 8, to be honest with that. Uh, yeah. I was a fan of the top, so I had a good effort this year from Puma on that one. And now at number 16, we have Ibar. Uh, now, I will start by saying it's not a bad top. It's kind of run of the mill, kind of safe territory for me. However, one thing I did come to mind of this one is it looks like a Barcelona top you would buy from Wish. Uh, so yeah, that bit kind of threw it off for me. Uh, however, not a bad effort, not a bad effort from Hummel this year. And now we have Huesca. Huesca? I, th I think, I, I don't know how to pronounce it possibly, so apologies any fans of that team for butchering that one for you. Uh, yeah, I, I did also quite like this top as well, actually. Uh, the colours of the top go quite well with each other. I like the like the kind of a pattern through those stripes there as well, look really nice, make it stand out for me. Again, as usual, the only thing that kind of ruined it for me personally was just that sponsor being a little bit too high. If that was lower down or not even there at all, I think that could have been an 8 or a 9 this top, to be honest with you. Uh, so yeah, not bad from Soccer, whoever they are. Well done. And in 14th, we have my favourite Spanish team, uh, Barcelona. Uh, which, by the way, I do have a banging actually foot manager save on with them just now, so hopefully that continues. Uh, but yeah, back to the top. For me, this feels like it's kind of going back to their classic Barcelona design. Uh, 
I think the only thing I would have gave this one a 10 on would have been if there was no sponsoring at all, like back in the, with the classic tops. However, I'm actually a really big fan of this top. Uh, one of the best ones I've had in recent years. So I gave this one an 8. Uh, I think Matt was a bit harsh with a 6. I think Matt gave this one an 8 as well, I think, if he was feeling generous. But no, well done, Nike and Barcelona. And now we have Real Betis. Uh, I think this is an example of why I should never rate tops when I'm on the line. I probably should have scored this one a little bit higher than a 6, because looking at it just now, it's actually quite a really nice top to be honest with you. Uh, there seems a bit of a pattern through those green stripes, which kind of helps make it stand out a bit. There's a design in there as well on the inside of the neck. Uh, so yeah, I probably should have scored this one a little bit higher than I did. So I will pass on my bod my apologies to the good people at Real Betis. And now in 12th place we have Valencia. Uh, this is actually another really nice top. Uh, that that collar they've got on the top is just pure beauty for me, that one. Uh, and I've always liked Valencia because they've, had, they've got a bat on their badge, which to me just gives off those Batman vibes, and obviously Batman is my favourite superhero. Uh, so I've always had a bit of a soft spot for Valencia, just purely for that. I know it's a ridiculous reason, but hey-ho. Uh, but yeah, uh, I quite like this top actually. Uh, so well done Valencia and Puma on this one. And now last one for me before I hand back over to Matt and we have FC Andorra. Uh, again, I actually really liked this top as well. Uh, I liked the that kind of pattern in the background of the top there, it looks really nice. The the kind of that kind of dark blue and yellow goes quite well with each other as well. So yeah, I was quite pleasantly surprised with this top actually. Uh, I gave this one a seven and I can see Matt seems to agree with my rating as well. Nothing that happens. Uh, but yeah, I quite like this one from Andorra this year. Well done. Another team with a love for a bat, or a chicken of the cave. One for the Iron Command fans out there. So I love how this is this kit is almost an exact copy of a certain Galactico loving club we'll soon see in the list. Love any kit with a touch of gold to be honest with you. Good effort despite the uh, dreaded generic Adidas template. See what I meant with the last one? I really rate this. So it took me back to the Galactico Siemens mobile kit for those of you that remember the Santiago Munez goal goal 2 kit you know also worn by the likes of Beckham, Zidane, Figo etc I mean we've put Bellingham front and center on this slide and for quite obvious reasons you've got probably the next Ballon d'Or winner possibly if a certain giant Norwegian Viking doesn't get in the way a sleek take on the hoops with this one the chonky look is one I can definitely get on board with, super solid. The top hoop just under the collar fits very aesthetically pleasing for me, sort of like Tetris in a way. One of the better Nike entries this season, not just in La Liga but Europe altogether. It's like a beatbox green version of Boca Juniors iconic look. I dig it, but it's difficult look to get right to be honest. Well done Elche, 7th ain't bad, ain't nothing to be sniffed at. Woof. The working class heroes of Madrid diving off the top rope like Jeff Hardy with this one. When your widely recognised style is a sash kit, it's difficult to find truly interesting ways to alter it, but the lightning bulk is sick. I mean, and getting to see Falcao in his twilight years sporting this is truly a beautiful sight. Well done, Rio Vallecano. Macron again. Imagination about 80% of the way there on this aim. It's an interesting take on the stripes look, but it's the wee singular one down the middle that doesn't quite sit right with me. 
Dave scored it slightly higher. I mean, fifth place, Greg going Cartagena. The only kid that got a 10 in this list, Kieran Tierney's Real Sociedad, with what I think is a paintbrush, paint roller effect. Again, Macron feeling spicy. The dark collar and sleeve trim mixes as well. The only thing that bothered me about this one is the stripe stopping before it reaches the badge. I know that probably sounds weird, but I'm sure a lot of you weird guys out there like myself will understand it as well. It's like when the council is painting lines on the road and they just can't be arsed to move some foliage out of the way, so they just go around it. Odd, but fantastic for the San Sebastian club. Narrowly missing out on a medal. Unlucky, but well done. A very professional Macron attempt, as they get a lot of top 10 finishes in our lists. Honestly man, there isn't a manufacturer or scatter gun as them, but you gotta love Macron regardless. As I was once told, Levante is the true Valencian club, and they've got a sleek, stylish effort. So stylish in fact you could wear it with suit trousers and you wouldn't bat an eyelid. Sponsored by Narcos too, an amazing TV show. Great to see Joma getting on the podium. Love the mixture of colours, proper Heerenveen vibes for my Eredivisie fans out there. The peak of the collar changing colour when it hits the centre stripe is fantastic attention to detail. Joma getting their classic brand noticed without being garish. And the sponsor I think is possibly a charity and it looks, it looks and fits fantastically well. Kappa. Take a bow son. Take a bow. This is incredible. I mean, my god, could you imagine the level of confidence you would possess wearing this lad? The classic collar, check. Smooth, non problematic sponsor, check. Kappa's logo, prominent but subtle, check. Oh, and the fact it's gold just goes so, so well. A club owned by O Phenomeno, the original and greatest Ronaldo, had to possess an amazing kit. Congratulations to Real Valladolid on being the winner of the 2023-24 La Liga 1 and 2 home kit rankings. Very well deserved. Take a bang.